It's Saturday, the 9th of June, and it's time for a quick overdue Orville update. It's a very busy summer here at the Blanco Lirio headquarters as I'm making up for lost time due to the surgery last summer. So I'm spending a lot of time back at the day job and a lot of time outdoors. And uh, the kids are out of school and it's time to pack them up, put them in the camper and take them on an adventure. That also means the mighty Luscombe is down for annual right now, so I don't have any Luscombe footage, but we've got some great DWR drone footage and other footage from the job site to share with you and explain what's going on at Oroville. My name's Juan Brown, and you're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. And by the way, regarding that surgery, everything's worked out great. PSA numbers are virtually zero. Men, keep track of that PSA count. I know some of you have followed in my footsteps, and you've done the right thing. A quick summary from the 6th June DWR press briefing. Control blasting and demolition of the original 730 feet of the upper spillway is completed. The middle chute, that's the RCC section, about 34% of the foundation work in preparation for the structural concrete slabs has been done. We'll show you some neat stuff they're doing there on the uh, drone footage. Work continues on the energy dissipators or dentates at the bottom of the spillway. They're drilling and epoxying and repairing those dentates. They're still using November 1st as the milestone to complete the major construction work and placement of structural concrete in the main spillway. However, additional work including dry finishing, curing, joint sealing, connecting of the drain systems, backfilling of side walls and site cleanup. Huh, that's interesting that backfill the sidewalls. That's that kind of work is going to continue after the 1st of November. Construction on the emergency spillway uh, on the northern half, that's phase one of uh, phase two <laughs> of the emergency spillway work is about 80% complete. That's the RCC working its way from the secant cutoff wall up towards the emergency spillway. On the southern portion, phase two of phase two of the emergency spillway, if you will, is about 40% complete of just the foundation prep work. And then they got to start pouring RCC there. Now that work on the emergency spillway is going to continue beyond the November 1st milestone. The lake at Orville is currently about 818 feet. Remember the bottom of the spillway gates is 813 feet. So the lake is just a little bit above the bottom of the spillway and a little bit of water that leaks through is being shunted off to the side. DWR in con conjunction with the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is beginning to create the 2018-2019 flood control season operations plan for Oroville. So once they get this, how far they get along with this construction season will probably determine what the flood control plan for next year is going to be at Oroville. There's one or two slabs that had a poor finish to it that was poured last year. The concrete set up too quickly and they are uh, resurfacing those slabs. They're not going to completely replace them. They've decided to just resurface those slabs and press them into service. Now, some of the news that you're not reading here on the uh, press releases is unfortunately the the perfect safety record with Keywood Engineering uh, has been broken. Two incidents uh, occurred at the Orville spillway resulting in injuries. One was a uh, heavy equipment operator stepped out of his tractor onto that uneven surface, lost his footing and ended up breaking his leg in a fall as he got out of his tractor. And in another even more spectacular um, situation, a couple of days ago, one excavator was crossing the RCC portion, the middle portion of the main spillway where, where that spillway begins to take that sharp four to one slope downhill it was crossing that portion of the spillway and lost its traction and the entire excavator and operator slid down the middle section of the of the spillway completely lost control stayed upright remained upright and slid all the way down to where the upper spillway matches the lower spillway. It caught the lip right there and caught the excavator and stopped it. Only minor injuries to the driver. High potential for disaster there as, as, uh, as it, it missed any hitting anybody or anything on its way down. So be careful, crews, get this thing done without hurting anybody. Remember when the original dam and spillway was built at Oroville back in the 60s, 
many folks lost their lives in that process. Dam work in the old days was very, very dangerous work. So let's go look at this DWR drone footage and photographs and further explain and show you just what I explained. Remember this drone footage is not my drone. Uh, there is no private drones allowed over the construction site at DWR. This is drone footage that is created and released by DWR. This DWR footage was uploaded on 30 May on the California DWR YouTube channel. And here's how they're getting the trenches dug into the RCC portion of the spillway. They've built these supports to hold the tractors, the trenchers, so they can dig a vertical trench down through the RCC to create the required drainage. Remember, this drainage is critical. You saw this uh, water leaking out of this RCC section just this one year because there was no drains in the RCC at all. And remember, one of the original problems that caused the failure of the spillway in the first place was a lack of proper drainage and or clogged drains. So these drains are critical to the operation of the spillway as water migrates and moves around underneath the spillway. And now we move to the upper portion of the spillway and the final destruction of the old original upper spillway section. The walls have already been removed and crews are setting up for the final blasting of the final section of the old concrete of the upper spillway. Now this is where art meets science. Check out the work by Neal's Control Blasting from Newcastle, California as they finish off the upper portion of the old spillway. Note also the shipping containers placed to catch the rocks from banging up against the gates. Nothing left but the cleanup and the dental work. In case you were wondering, well, where's the rebar on the original construction? Well, there you can see it in the rubble. Pretty small and pretty widely spaced. This DWR drone footage was published on 31 May, and we'll go over and take a look at progress on the emergency spillway. Here's what 80% of the RCC pour looks like on the northern section of the emergency spillway in the stair-step pattern. And this bare dirt area next to the RCC is where 40% of the foundation prep work is done on this section of the emergency spillway. RCC pour to follow. Flying right over the gates, looking at the construction or the cleanup of the upper portion of the main spillway. Trimming the walls back. in preparation for dental work and structural concrete. Now we'll fly over the center section, the RCC portion of the spillway and take a closer look at this drain construction. Looks like six or eight inch black PVC pipe notched for the drains getting glued together, just smell the primer. Slather on the fast acting glue and shove them together. Then cover the pipe in the trench with appropriate sized drain rock to prevent plugging or clogging.
then cover the drain rock with a porous membrane. Now each of these drains drain back into the spillway downhill of the ditch and each drain is numbered so in the future engineers can monitor the status of each of these drains and quickly determine if a drain is being plugged and exactly which drain it is and I believe they'll also be able to use robots to help maintain these drains in the future now here on this drilling rig they're drilling the holes for the massive anchor bolts which you're going to secure the structural concrete to the RCC portion of the spillway now this RCC portion basically now represents the bedrock for the structural portion of the spillway remember some of this RCC is as thick as 150 feet deep as it covered up the original plunge pools once these anchors are placed and grouted into the RCC they'll be pull tested here they're trimming up the edge of the lower section of the spillway where it's going to meet up with the new structural concrete over the RCC section and there's some dowels to create an expansion joint where the two joints will meet so lots of construction to continue on at Orville this year stay tuned for future updates we got the kids out for their first sailboat race on the Catalina 22 at the local regatta here at Scotts Flat Reservoir the other day. I had a great time even if we came in last place. <laughs> we learned that the uh, Catalina 22 Club is a serious racing class and we found out also that your late 80s model, or correction, your 1980s model Catalina 22 is not the fastest race boat in the fleet. It's the early 70s models that you want that are lighter weight that can win. I also got to finish up the BMW G310 GS video review of that motorcycle and our adventure that we had in Moab, Utah. Pete, come here, quick. In other breaking news, the kids got their report cards this year. Pete, what, how'd you do in school this year? Good. Did good? Yeah, it looks like you got threes. They don't do ABC anymore. They do um, one, two, three, four. So you got threes and everything, mastery of the standard except for a little bit of help maybe with reading and writing. But look at this, you got a four in math. And your teacher says, uh, Pete did great this year. He is a math whiz. He's doing well with his reading. Have a wonderful summer. So what is it about math that's so easy? Can you do subtraction already? You got an, uh, an example? Pete, you got an example of subtraction? How about 10 minus two? No, 10 minus 2. But you said 10 minus 8. Well, that was the previous problem. Is that 2? Yes. Uh-huh. And 10 minus 2 is? 10 minus 2 is 8. Good. All right, you ready to go camping? <laughs> you ready to go camping? <laughs> Julianne, come here. Quick. Julian, you just finished up which grade? Third grade. Third grade? Mm -hmm. And it looks like you got uh, threes everywhere, demonstrates mastery of the standard, and fours in comprehension, mm -hmm. spelling, writing, and oral presentation. <laughs> Very good. And was this one of your big presentations here, the Stone House? Mm -hmm. All right, it looks like you got a, a four star on that. Very good. You ready to go camping now for the yeah. summer? Go to camping? All right, good. As long as we get to go somewhere where we get to go swimming. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Okay, get your get your swimming gear. <laughs> See you here. Good job.